Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin'. We are back from the ASD Market Week, so we are, had a blast. This entire suitcase is stuff that we bought the last day we were there. We bought samples, we bought cash and carry. Um, we did buy a massage chair, those of you who are asking, but it doesn't fit in the suitcase. So <laughs> that one's gonna get delivered. Um, but anyway, uh, we put a, a bunch of stuff in here. I was actually really smart. Don't you think I was smart, Paul, in the way that I packed our suitcases? You're a genius, Heather. So what we did was, this was a larger suitcase, and inside this suitcase, we had a smaller suitcase with our clothing. And so we each packed double bags, but only had to carry one bag on the way out, and then we each had two bags on the way back because we bought a bunch of fun stuff and got catalogs and all that fun stuff. So we're actually going to open the suitcase and I'm going to show you everything that I bought from the cash and carry and the sample sales selection on the last day. And then I'm also got some other fun um, clips that I'm going to show you of other fun things we got to do while we're in Las Vegas for the ASD market week. So let's go ahead and get on bagging. All right. No, I am not just unpacking my clothes. We're going to unpack all of Just the full of my underwear. Here. That's all it is. Yeah, it's just full of Paul's folded underwear. Yep. yep. All right. Kaboom. We've got stuff here. We better grab this before I drop that whole side. Jewels. Rings. So many jewels. So we're going to pull out some of this jewelry. So uh, where, where are they going to see these items, Paul? Okay, um, a lot of these uh, rings and a few of these uh, jewelry items you'll actually see tomorrow on tomorrow's auction. We'll do uh, an auction starting at 12.30. No, excuse me, 12 o'clock. Yep. Usually we start it right at noon, noon Central Standard Time. And then some of the purses you'll probably see on an upcoming fire sale. So we'll probably do, unless we have, uh, maybe one or two we'll do on the auction. But most likely they will be on a fire sale mm -hmm. on Monday is yep. probably. We... Uh, because they're just samples, we just have one one offs for the yep. most part. Yep. Yep. Do you want to show some of the rings or just show? Absolutely. Them? Yeah. Okay. That's so, the whole point. Well, first off, these we bought. Yeah. Let us know if you're interested in these. We can reorder these. We have a whole catalog now. So this is a hummingbird beaded hummingbird. Look at that. Kind of an ornament. They actually has a tree. You can buy the tree with it. Mm -hmm. Um, you could also buy our prosperity tree, which I think we've got some in the pallets that are coming. We're sold out online mm -hmm. right now, but the prosper tree, and you could actually probably hang these also on the prosper tree, which is a yep. silver tree. So we've got this one. We've got the green one. This one's pretty colors. I think. I think I have a special person this is going to go to. Yes. All of these, actually. Yes. But uh, if you're interested in these, let me know. It may take, um, uh, when I order, it may take about a week and a half to get them, but I think I can get a whole bunch of these if you guys want. Yeah, comment if you really love these because we can order these. These I were all just samples we bought. They're a little more expensive because they're hand done. What was it, like five and a half dollars? For one that of these. That we had to buy for them. That yeah. we had to buy for one. So we'd have to sell for more than that. But still, they're really neat. Mm -hmm. All this little beadwork. That's a lot of beadwork. Yeah. But I thought they looked really neat. Neat little hummingbirds. I think that's a hummingbird. It is a hummingbird. Heather says it is, therefore it is. <laughs> All right. So then these ones were a little bit more expensive. Um, because they were stainless steel rings. These we bought in the cash and carry section. Yeah, these aren't, well, yeah, the inside are stainless steel, but the outside. So what did they call them, like mother of pearl? Yeah, was it al? how do I say it, alaboni or alabon? Abalone. Abalone. Now this is cool because it's got a wood grain mm -hmm. seam there. And then some are that width, and then we've got a, I think I bought one that's the narrower width. See the difference? Yep. And we did our best to buy every size. So we got a size 8, a size 9, a size 12. Sometimes they didn't have every nine. size, but, you um, know, we did what we could, you know. And what Just got these? some of those. We got this size gentleman's 10. contact info, too. Yep. I think it's right here in there. Yep. And um, he is still building his website, but um, I think that he might be a guy that we can reorder from. And then right, right now, how to reorder from him is you just have to say, hey, uh, send me some rings. Yeah. That's about as good as he's going to get. This one is a 13. So we did buy some bigger, bigger Look ones. Look at that fatty. I got it because of the cross. I thought it would be kind of clever. Yeah. And then. A lot of them were only in bigger sizes. Yeah. But 
There's a lion Size head. Size 13 on that one. Got the lion head. That one doesn't have a size on it. Kind of a lion of the tribe of Judah kind of on going on there. Might be an 11. 11? Yeah, I think. It's a better size, I think. Yep. This one's a 10. Got a size 10. Got the cross here, a little different. And I love this It's got this crosses one. on the sides. Almost kind of like a class ring. You should do some of these on the auction tomorrow, maybe. I should. And then here is one with a shield. I liked this one. Look at that. Now, to me, if you want us to do them on a, the auction tomorrow, leave a comment in the comment section below. To me, that's more of a man's ring, but he was saying that uh, a lot of uh, he calls them basically unisex rings because he said a lot of ladies were wearing them too. Yeah. So, but whoever wants to wear it, there you go. Yeah, we have them. You wear them if you want to wear. Them. Absolutely. Right. I'm trying to keep them organized so that we remember exactly how much we spent for each. Then here is the mother load. So these. Are rings that we can offer there are they stainless steel are I believe so. some of them are fashion and some of them well I think they were in a stainless steel section I'm trying to see if but they're look marked at, look at the size of this one yeah that's a big size I think this was like a 14 yeah 13 or 14 so we tried to get various sizes yep we went Heather picked these rings one by one yep we basically filled we went, the tray how many this rings one, did you go through um, I probably went through about 500 different rings to basically pare it down to about a hundred, a little over a hundred. This one says endless love. I'm going to try it. to get down here a little closer. I'm going to go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Keep looking through it too. It doesn't make sense. This is a spinner ring. You spin here. I thought that was clever. Still inked up. I've been marking, uh, uh, a catalog. We got tons of catalogs. Give me a second here. I'm going to. Sit down. Earthquake, guys. But Heather just kept picking some pretty cool little rings here. Look at this one. Tried to find different ideas. This one's like two little pom-poms, but they're like glitzy. Yeah. These, This one's kind of nice because it is, you can widen it or make it smaller, you know. Yeah. This one has lizards on it. Got to have a lizard ring. That's Or gecko or lizards yeah, or whatever you want to say. Yeah, gecko or lizards. Do. Neat rings though, and then this one was. Look at this one here. Here, let's cool little put band. Them in here, once we've looked at them, that way we're not showing the same ones. Yeah, and then it's got a little little stone there. I think we've done this one already. Done this it's kind of, it's almost looks like a wedding band here. Look at this one. It's got yep. like little rings. I think I showed them that one. Oh, did you? Yeah, I like that one though. Bling bling, my friend. This one's a size seven. Yep. Now, what we're going to do probably... I think that's even marked stainless steel on the inside, I think, isn't it? It is, yeah. Stainless mm -hmm. steel. Now, what we're going to do whenever we sell them, if we sell them on the auction or anything, we will check the ring sizes yeah. with our ring sizer. Because sometimes the tags are yeah might be off by a size. So we will definitely recheck all sizes. It looked like he was right. Oh, I like this one, Heather. Can you show that one? This one says, love only you. It has a little thing and it's just isn't that cool yeah is the blue a cross or not no it just has that little indentation yeah. there. i like that this one's just a plain black sparkly the thing that i loved about all of these rings is they're very smooth on the inside so they're mm -hmm. gonna be very comfortable to wear yeah nice quality stuff mm -hmm. that decent good. price so we're not gonna have to go nuts on it and even in the auction you're probably still gonna get a good deal oh this one i thought was cool look at that Mm -hmm. so it fits your finger like that. I always think Egyptian when I see that. Yeah. You can. So this one's cool because as you turn it, it looks like a different ring. Mm hmm. So I think I have one like that in silver as well. Oh, no, rose gold. So that one was like the regular yellow gold. This is like rose gold. I did get some really tiny ones. So we did get a few. This one says love and devotion. So there are some that are like if you're a pinky ring wearer. You can fit that on your pinky. I don't want to shove that all the way on and never get it off. Mm -hmm. But so we do have some that are in itty bitty sizes, a little dainty one like this. I don't know if they are they coming across on camera pretty decent. I think so. Just a simple band. But these are all stainless steel rings. This one kind of looks like it has a. I thought Heather did a really good job picking yeah. them out. Well, Paul helped me too. Oh, just a little bit. I basically held the box and said, do you see anything you like? So this one's kind of neat. That was how I helped. 
So. Hey, look, everybody. It's James. He's picking your Hi. orders. Yep. What a good-looking kid Heather had. Look yep. at that. <laughs> yep. Just a beautiful young man. He doesn't look know what me. to do with look compliments. There he goes. Boom. I'm a sucker for a cross. I probably picked that one. This one's pretty. I like Jesus. I do, too. Look, these are kind of the same but different. Yeah. Now, this one's cool. So, this one is just a stationary, but watch this. So, I'm holding the sides, and then the middle spins. It's a spinner ring. So, sorry. Kind of a little bit of a fidget. Yeah. So, this middle section mm -hmm. spins. We have a few that are like that. There's a beautiful band there. And basically, what we had to do with this guy is you had to buy 100 rings. Yep. So you couldn't just walk up and buy one. Yeah. People were trying to do that, and he says, "No, I got to You got to buy a hundred. And um, but you had a pretty good deal on the hundred, I have yeah. to say. You want to keep showing rings? Sure. Okay. Those are neat. This nice. one's kind of a brownish. This one is a kind of a neat. I like the blue. This one says love, peace, and where it says the sticker is, it says hope. couple of those. Just mm -hmm. a plain gold band and then so we try to get Some a of them huge are pretty similar variety. to what we've seen. Look at that. Bam. I tried to get some big size. We tried to get some big size because I know on our YouTube channel um people want to have a, a little bit bigger size rings at times. Dad. Boom dad. You could just wear this if you love your dad. There you go. Or give it to your dad. I don't think it'd fit any of my dad's Look at fingers. That. I think it's a big one. Looks like a wedding band to me. It does. But I think it's like a 14 or a 13. Mm -hmm. It's a bigger size. This one too. We tried to get some really monster ones just because these are really hard to find in regular jewelry. Look at that one. That one's kind of a simple band. Silver nice. and gold. Tell me if I'm going too fast. Another smaller one that's a gecko. So this is more pinky, pinky ring size for the gecko. Look at that one. Boom. Bling. I'm sure it's a real diamond. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this of it. This one's a dainty. No, it's cubic. That's a cool little design. It is. This one's neat. It looks like roses. Or roses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some more like this. Yep. So let us know what sizes you'd like to see on the auctions. Well, they are what we have. <laughs> yeah. But we'll try to prioritize the yeah. sizes you leave in the comments for tomorrow's auction at the very least. That's a good point. Did we get the mustache one or no? I think we did, yes. Hold on. There is one with a mustache. This was a pretty design, too. I thought we did. I really hope we did. There was rings with Chinese script on them, too, but I had no idea what, what, what the words said. were. So I'm like, eh, just in case. Here it is. I found it. Look at this. Ho, ho, ho. Boom. Yes, indeed. Gold mustache ring. It's a size 7. Oh, here's another one that was like that first one I showed you, but it has this both the silver. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Time for more stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, try to get these picked up. Looks like treasures. Here. Treasures. You want me to pull these out? Sure. And I'll let you kind of sort through those while I pick up the... These were some other necklaces we found. Um, let's see. These are Spirit of Nature handcrafted jewelry. So the cool story about that one, those ones, is that the lady basically said that... We found her booth in the regular gift section, and she said, oh, we also have a cash and carry, and I was like, awesome, I'm just going to buy from the cash and carry, because she didn't have enough for us to really make an order order. Yep. We might be able to make an order. Yeah. And it looked like, like um, uh, this was the same lady that does the hummingbirds. Yes. So, she has a ton of crystal stuff, which I know sometimes crystals have significance, sometimes they don't. I don't know that whole situation necessarily, um, but these looked really nice, really pretty. Just pretty stonework. So, and then we got the three different kinds of stones there just to give you a little bit of variety. 
And if you guys like uh, go like, oh boy, those are really pretty, we might be able to do, uh, to reorder. Now the only issue with like these stones we noticed, you order like a blue stone necklace. You can order the blue stone, but those stones are all different. They're not they're not Same. exactly this shape every time. They're all wired fine, but they'll be a little bit different, which might so, be kind of nice. See how all three of these are different sizes and different kind right. of patterns? That's yep. what you're going to get. Yeah, it's just a mixture. It's whatever the stone was like, yep. you know. So So they're a little bit raw. But, but. Yeah, but I kind of like that. I think that's kind of clever. But let me know if you want to do that there. These are made in Peru. See that there? So that's kind of clever. So some of you have been to mission trips in Peru before. So boom, there you go. Look at all the pile of stuff. Right. Heather, Heather got all the purses when I couldn't find her. Yes. She was when shopping. I was, when I was MIA, it's because I was buying purses. Of course yep. I went MIA while shopping. It was fun. It was, it fun. was fun. We found each other. We did find each other. He finally found me shopping. Yep. I was crying. Yes. I laid down and I cried like a baby. Yep. So this is a two-piece set, so it comes with a little kind of clutch, and then it also comes with a, as a backpack purse. So I bought this off a sample sale. So this was a regular exhibitor wanting to take orders that um, just sold their their stock so they wouldn't have to bring it back. Right. So I got a really good deal on that one. And if you're not a fan of the black color, I got one in kind of this brown bronzes color. Same, Boom. Same thing. It's nice to have stuff right away. Because mm -hmm. most of the stuff we ordered, they won't be here for two weeks. Or two months. Now, our jewelry order, they said they'd have it to us in uh, five to seven days. Yep. We will see. And oh, then Linda's jewelry. Linda's jewelry, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a great company to, oh, to work with. Awesome. And that way we can actually put more jewelry like you're used to seeing on an auction. We'll be able to put that actually on hookedonpickin.com. Yes. And that way you can just go to the store and buy it. This one's a really pretty piece. Well, Heather, you so did little. great. Yeah, he, see, Paul hasn't seen these. I would have, if I was with you, padded. I would have probably said, like, hey, let's just keep moving. But yeah. I'm a sucker for handbags, I think. That's good. All right, then we've got, let's look at some more jewelry. So this is from that same company that had the, the rock one. But yeah. these were just a little bit different, and they have leather. So for those of you who have allergies, this is a much better chain for I might, you. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yep. That's a good idea. So I, I always think that way because my sister can't wear. Um, and the... I like the yep, tree of so life. It's the tree of life there. I do like the tree of life. I'll just lay them out and you can move from one to the next. And they had different little colors in the tree of life that you could do. Pretty. Pretty designs. And see, I don't know if this is necessarily a tree of life. It's just a tree with butterfly. Kind of looks like a, um, a little something on that one. Let me get that off there. Or that, oh, there we go. That was just the back side of it. Look, they all have little butterflies. I didn't even recognize the butterflies where we were at. These are, I don't think these are tree of life. I just think they're just pretty trees with butterflies. Yeah. We have some other ones that I think are trees. But they're all a little different. See how they've been painted like that? We do have some. These are all the made in Peru ones. Okay. So, so you won't get us, even if I ordered 12 of the purple tree, all the trees would look a little different. Because they're painted, yeah. Yeah. And then we got these stone ones here. Kind of a sparkly stone. And a purple stone. I think it's pretty. And then got this one here. And we also found a U.S. company where I can go and pick up stones. Now, they don't have... They have it where... This is where you pick up the stone and you have to fashion it into your own jewelry. So, Which you crafters would probably love. Oh, I know. So I can maybe get uh, lots of stones and whatnot for you. These are this little heart, little turquoise heart. Mm -hmm. Pretty. That one I think this has something. Like a, yeah. Oh yeah, I had, this had something sorry. on the back side, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I flipped it the other way. It's got a tree. I like that. Ready. And then this one, I thought was neat the way it was wrapped. I do like that too, yeah. Keeps it on there good too. Yep. Yep. Okay, so those were actually a pretty 
reasonable yep. price. These are a little bit more, but yep. we loved the, the designs on some of these. But like at ASD, like I think everything in this booth was made in Peru. I don't think anything else was made. In, it's like it's not made in China or made in India or made in the U.S. It was all in Peru. So I thought that was clever. You can find different companies, um, um, companies from India, companies from China. And this company didn't. But some companies would say if instead of it be Spirit of Nature, it could be uh, Hooked on Pickin' or it could be uh, Heather's Jewelry, and they would brand it for you. A little tree life's there. Just cool little trees. Let us know if you like these, and we can maybe reorder this stuff too. Oh yeah, I like that. That look good. Neat. This one Just I, a flat this stone was one on of my that. favorites that I'm about to show you. What's a nice? It's a nice and heavy too. Yeah. The next one is one of my favorites. Wait to it. Oh, the green one. Yeah. Look at that. I wonder what kind of stone that is. Boy, that's pretty. Striped stone. I wonder if it's been dyed that way. Really pretty, Heather. Yeah. So you could, that one you could almost wear both ways. You could, yeah. Almost. Yeah. That one's like moon and stars. Moon and stars, yeah. And then just flat on the back there. But that stone does give a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. Look at this. It's like a copper, yep. copper tree growing out of a blue stone. Neat. Another blue tree. Heather does a great job picking this stuff, didn't she? Here's another handbag. So it's plain black on this side. It's got these fun zippers like this, and then. Lined on the inside with a zipper. So, just trying to, with the handbags, I was trying to pick stuff that was super unique. A red bag, look at that, almost cardinal red. Blue green, yeah. That looks great, Heather. This is one of my favorite ones that I got. The backpack first. So it stands up like this. I had him take all the stuffing out, so when I saw it displayed, it was all kind of filled out. But I, I needed to take the stuffing out to fit it in my suitcase, so. So that's that one. Isn't that fun? That's awesome. I love this pattern one. You should get your own Heather Hooks hooked on picket line. I should do the backpack purses because I love backpack purses. They're my fave. All right. Here's another backpack purse. But this one's kind of more neutral, like a coffee kind of color. There's that one. Cool. Then. Ooh, more jewelry. You want to take some more jewelry? Of course I do. So this was a place that we saw. This was the last place we bought from. These are heavy, too. Very heavy stones. Yeah. I always goof this up. I think it's uh, faceted. Yes. These faceted beads. Just grabbed a few bracelets. This one I can't reorder from. They but, only sold at trade shows, but I thought they looked neat. Yep. Something nice. The girls are going to go through and probably pick one or two of these things, too. I haven't even seen the girls yet. Yep. We got in about one one this morning. Mm-hmm. Look at that. These say made with love. On made the with love. Boom. Oh, the bracelets were kind of cool. Yeah. We've sold things like this at uh, on the auction before. Yeah. Frankly, I just started looking through when I was at this place going, what have I kind of remembered sold at auction before that was reasonably priced because there was what 
a, a beautiful necklace we went up to. And how much was that necklace? I don't remember. Like two hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. The guy said. Yep. And Heather was like, "Oh, it's beautiful," and then just walked away. <laughs> so these were cool watch bracelets that Paul found. I think from the same guy as the bracelet. No. If it wasn't the same guy, it was close. He was close to the same location. Just little neat bracelet watches. Remind me kind of something like you would get at Walmart. And it, I don't know, for all I know is the, the guy that supplies Walmart. So different little watch jobbers there. It's kind of a, a leather bracelet with watch. So nothing super fancy, just kind of a clever fashion watch. This one is more, more of a bluish leather, blackish. And then they had a little bit of uh, some of these. Yep. Sodality. Sodality. Optimism and joy of life. Am I saying that right? Sodality? Is that a word? Sodality, yeah. I don't Sol think it's a word. Solidarity? I don't know. Maybe so it's so I don't know. There's another one. Hmm. I probably should have read the packaging more. I think we might have bought these. Oh, <laughs> okay. So these were all ones I bought for myself. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> that I bought for myself. So these earrings. Yep. Then I bought these earrings and these earrings for myself. The watch and this stuff was things that you can't order again. Look at that heart one. Yep. How how light? Oh, mm. this one's pretty. Yeah. I like the, this guy's watches, but you could only order from the trade show. And after I made an order, he was very gracious, very kind. They both were. And uh, him and his wife, and they were like, see you in August. I'm like, I don't know if we're coming back in August, but... But we'll probably hit his, his cash and carry oh, spot every yeah. time. What we should do is just load up hundreds of dollars of their stuff. Because look at the little Paris watch. What, what we'll probably do is, is a bunch of that stuff next time. So we it was our first experiment for taking back two check bags full of product. You were good. That was a great idea. And so, um, like I said, we had another suitcase inside here that had our clothes. And then we just, you know, filled two empty suitcases, basically, full of the stuff that we brought. Set these to the side because I did, bought those for myself. And then these will all go kind of over. Put all this because we actually have more things from him. Look at these awesome wallets Paul found. Yeah, he had these wallets. I don't know what you guys would think about this. We did order some wallets from another company. He didn't have many of but them. But these we we just picked up. You I know, think he a... had six. I think I got six because yeah, I think that's all he six. had. Yeah. And I thought, hey, these look like decent stuff. So here, let's open them up and look at them. So what we have inside is they're nice and dark, which is nice. And then they have the change purse section, all your credit card stuff, spot for your money. Mm -hmm. But the nice thing is they do zip clothes like that. Let's put this back in there. Cool. Yep. He kind of looked like he had just a little a little of everything, but not a lot of anything. You know what I mean? And so, like, he had six of those. And I'm like, those look nice. I'm, and I bought them all. These, I thought, or maybe this was the guy you bought some other bracelets from, the faceted bracelets. Yeah. These are all heavyweight stone. So heavy. Now the lady told me this was genuine turquoise. No clue if it is. Yeah. But it looks pretty. Now this one of these is that hematite. I think both of these are hematite. Yes. Uh, and they definitely feel it. They got the weight for it and everything, which gave me hope that maybe that is turquoise. But I don't know. You would have to really know your stuff there. Because everybody said all their stuff was real, but I'm like, is it? I don't know. Well, there were a couple things we picked up. We were like, that's too light. So we just yes. didn't buy from those people. Like all of this is heavy. Yep. What is it, that tiger's eye? Yep. So, but um, I think I, I just bought one bracelet of each, I thought. Let you guys go nuts on them. Yeah, if you guys love this stuff, when we go back to the ASC next time, we'll just pick up a lot more. Yep. I think that was it from that buyer. Uh, oh, here's something Paul's never seen because this is when I was lost and then got found. Yep. I bought these. There's this whole song about that. Look at this. She was with Jesus, everybody. I love Jesus pens and America. 
Look at this. That's what I bought from Now one I feel bad. <laughs> you were lost with Jesus. That's awesome, Heather. That's cool. They have s diamonds on them. Do they? These do. Do they have diamonds on them? Like this on one is cool because it's got the Jesus fish on this one. Mm hmm On that blue one. And then this purple one has a Bible and a cross. Bible. And then on the other side, praying hands. Boom. And this one, I think, also has praying hands and a cross. Beautiful. Yep. I think those are called receiving hands. Oh, are they? Receiving, receiving hands. hands. And then these are cool because there's red, silver, and blue. You're on amazing. The bottoms. So that's what I bought. Nice. Nice. Oh, someone kept getting, <laughs> I kept watching past these people. And they're like, here, for the puffiness under your eyes. And I'm like, do I really look that bad? <laughs> <laughs> and Paul's like, it's because it's the only thing they're giving out. It's true. So I kept giving replenishing body butter and eye puffy stuff. We could have so, just kept making laps around their booth. Yes. They would just keep handing it to you. Yes. I don't think they remembered me every time I went by. So. It would have been hard to, you know. Okay, so here's another handbag. This is uh, nice. This one was much bigger. This is a much bigger backpack. So this one could probably be legitimately, like, you could probably put a Chromebook in there. This one's much larger. Of a backpack. It is a big bag, yeah. Yeah, than a, than the other ones, but um, I like the size of Heather's back. Yep, so I liked that one. Is there something in there? I think it's just padding to keep it puffed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, he took all the padding on the inside out so I could fit in my suitcase, which was really awesome. Which is probably when I got lost. I think when we were unpadding the purses is when I became MIA. All right. This is another one that's identical to that one, but it's like a bright teal. A little bit of different front on it. Mm -hmm. And it's got the side pockets, like if you have a water bottle or you want to stick your keys or your cell phone there. And it's gray on the inside. And if you can't tell, I like the backpack purses, although I did get a few of those crossbody ones. So We ordered some fanny packs because I know a lot of you wanted the fanny packs. Here's another one. This one is just black. Nice, Heather. So, all right. Then, the last thing. We bought these entire trays. This might have been the last stop we made. I can't even place. remember. It all blends in. Oh, they all came off the hooks. Probably. Okay, so we got the display with this one. But it came with all these charms. Yep. I think it all had Christian... So they just hook on here like this. They're all Christian themed charms. So let's try to come up here and then you can put them on there. Yep. Here, I'll start from this side. Start from that side over there? Well, no, I mean, I was going to stay out of your camera oh. view. I'm sorry, Heather. So let's see, what's this one say? Padre. This is, I think, is this the Lord's Prayer in Spanish? I think so. Could be the Lord's Prayer in Spanish there. And um, just a. The cool thing was, is he let us switch out some of the charms. Yep. To ones that we some of the charms sell. were more of an all faith, and they weren't Christian. I know you guys asked for more Christian uh, items and things, and I thought, hey, here's um, a company that's doing all of these different Christian charms, and these not charms, Christian pendants. Pendants. And these, I thought, hey, I can reorder these. This particular company, he gave us his card. We found him. Almost everybody was packing up their booth, and when we found this guy... He wasn't packing it up. Yep. He gave us a really good deal because he didn't want to take these back to his shop because he... Uh, I can't remember where he was from, but... Yep. That's, I think, I think again, that's the Lord's Prayer in Spanish. And then there's a nice... I like the shield. The shield of faith. Boom. That looks heavy. Boy, that's thick. But uh, a lot of his stuff was stainless steel. Looked really nice. We've had a... We used to buy from... Via trading, we would get jewelry boxes. And sometimes you would get a company that went out of business that was a... Uh, uh, what was it? Faith company. But it was like an all-faiths company. And uh, we would get some kind of charms like this. But this guy I can actually reorder from. I like that idea. Cross that goes that says faith. Simple gold cross. Look at this one. 
I just want to show you Ooh. what it does. Oh, that's clever. It all spins. Oh, and that says stainless, stainless steel, steel on that mm -hmm. one side, but it spins. That's neat. But I thought that it might be something. We might put some of these out in our store, too. Um, Sorry, I'm trying that's to... Heather's hand. It's a beautiful hand. Oh, there's a... One hidden underneath. One hidden underneath. Well, we even got this display for it, too. He sold us the display Boom. as well. Fight or flight. Fight or flight. Hmm. I wonder why it says that. Of Judah? Don't know. I was like, we're missing one. Hmm. So, we got the whole little... Display. We just bought every charm. Yep. Boom. Every little charm that there was there. I keep calling them charms. Pendants. They're not charms, they're pendants. Yep. Neat. So, we Love got it. all those which was really fun to get. And then we have one more display that we bought from that same company. I wonder if it all fell off that too. Oh, this one I think is good. Is it? Yep. These were all stainless steel face rings. I know we got some other stuff, but this one was just, I couldn't pass up the good deal. Yeah. This goes this way. Yep. It goes. Look at that. <laughs> Boom! Faith rings. Now what is it? It is size, it goes, so it goes eight all the way up. Eight, nine, ten, wait. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, ten eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve thirteen. thirteen. So you have each of those. So a simple little cross, and then a little bit more of an intricate cross, and then a triple cross, kind of a bigger cross that way. And this is more uh, black with a white cross, black and silver with little crosses. Kaboom. I thought these were cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we've got all of the sizes. That's nice, too. Yeah. We can just put this out in the shop right now. Boom. Yep. We could. $100 a ring. So that is... Probably not $100 a ring. Legitimately. Is that it? Everything that was in the... The only thing left in here was my business cards. Business cards. cards. Yeah. Very good. So... We're going to see if you guys really love some of the jewelry, let us know because we'll try to reorder those like the hummingbirds we can reorder and some of those yep. faceted bracelets. Everything and... from the Peru company we can. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Peru company. So those little pretty spirit tags. So if you guys love that stuff, let us know. Let us know what ring size you want us to put on the sale tomorrow. We can even maybe put a few of these faith rings if you want. Some of those, they're all bands. But um, if you like those, we can just let us know what sizes you're interested in the comment section below. Now, we did do a lot, um, a few other things, really, to be honest. At the ASC Market Week, we got there when it opened, walked and walked and walked about six miles, six to seven miles a day, and closed it down. So when it was six o'clock, we were the last ones probably to leave the buildings. So, um, but we did get to do a few other things, like going from one hall to another. We got to go on a Tesla ride. So I do have video of that on my Facebook page, but I'm going to include it in this video as well. Then when we were leaving, since we were there really late on Wednesday, there were people packing up and I took a short little clip of a video of literally the, the crates and stuff outside the building. So check that out too. Um, I'll get show you some pictures of some places that we ate um, and the inside of our hotel. It was just a really neat experience. So enjoy this right now. So we took a flight from St. Louis to L.A. and got to see the sunset. In the show, this I found tree this amazing is snowing. tree. I don't know if it's really showing up on the video. Close to the top. <laughs> so That's in so the cash and carry is where you saw all the stuff that we bought. This was a restaurant we got to eat at. It's a really awesome Italian restaurant. Check out the ceiling. Yes, we were inside, but it looked like clouds. Paul got the chicken Alfredo, which he shared with me. And then I ordered the chicken Parmesan, which I shared with him. So it was kind of best of both worlds there. This was the inside of the hotel ceiling, one of the walkways we got to walk through at the Westgate Resort. This was our hotel room. It's a bit messy because we'd been there for a couple days by the time I took this picture. This was our view from outside the window. Mountains all the way across the landscape there. It was very, very beautiful to see. Then we got to go on a really awesome Tesla ride. So this was an underground tunnel. Check it out. Oh. Oh. 
it's all right. We go through many, many practice. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, before we're allowed to have customers in there. Yeah, gotcha. sure. Beautiful car. It's pretty good. I had to do a six hours practice run. Did you really? Yeah. Six oh, wow. hours. Yeah. Wow. And That's a uh, long time. Yeah. And we also have to go backwards. Backwards? From, from one station to another. Oh my goodness. Goodness yes. gracious. Yeah, using just the camera. Oh my goodness. Wow. See? Oh, that, that, that is cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. So when was this all built? Uh, a bit over two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not bad once you get used to it. Yeah. 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 Okay, folks, straight ahead right over there, the entrance. Perfect. This was the actual car we got to ride in. Really cool driver. Then uh, we got to see more of the show and do lots more shopping. That's for sure. Here are some of the things that we got to see. So here was a whole Christmas section that I sent pictures to a friend of mine. Um, and so tons of stuff that you can buy for Christmas. So we're super excited about that vendor. Then um, I got to talk to the bang rep to see if I could sell bang shots in the store. And then we've got um, Health and Beauty. This was one of the big places that we ordered from. Look at this giant mat for Christmas time. It's just absolutely amazing. We had a blast at the ASD Market Week. Thanks so much for joining us on our trip. Um, Paul and I really appreciate everything that you guys do in supporting us. So go check out Hooked on Picking for stuff. Hope you enjoyed seeing just a little smidge of some of the fun that we had. We did mostly work, which is why there's only a short little bit of fun. Um, but we did have to eat occasionally. So thanks so much for joining us. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.